Did you know the critically acclaimed Super Mario Bros. 2 is just a reskin of Doki Doki Panic for the- Hey, get your bloody hands off me! What are you doing? Let me back in that recording booth. No. Hey everyone! Sorry about that pesky intruder. He's been... <sighs> repeating that same fact for over a decade. Anyway... Did you know? Doki Doki Panic was actually developed by the same team that made the first Super Mario Brothers. However, Shigeru Miyamoto suggested making the game more Mario-like to appeal to consumers. Did you know? In Super Mario World, cape diving into a Goomba will turn it into a part of the Wing Sprite. The tile it uses is in the same spot as the squashed Goomba Sprite found in the leaked prototype graphic files. This seems to be a leftover from when they acted more closely the traditional Goombas from previous Mario games. Did you know? In level 3-2 of Super Mario Land, there's a bombshell Koopa whose spawning point is set to be directly above a bottomless pit. Because of this, it immediately falls into the pit and dies upon spawning. Ah! However, if Mario runs through the level at maximum speed, the player will be able to catch a glimpse of the Koopa for a single frame as it falls to its inevitable demise. Did you know? When asked about why the Super Mario series has so many objects with smiling faces on them, series director Shigeru Miyamoto said, You see, it's simple. In our world, you go around outside and everyone is just unhappy. But in Mario's world, it's a lot more different. We want to make Mario's world a happier place than our own. Did you know? During the development of the GameCube, it took Shigeru Miyamoto the span of at least three years to finalize the controller's design. When asked what the main inspiration was for the controller's design and layout, he stated, You know that Fisher-Price game controller for babies? I got one for my son, and after seeing him enjoy it so much, I decided to rip off the design. He then stated, Nintendo players are like babies, so I decided to give them something worthy of their reputation. To this day, Fisher-Price has not taken legal action. Did you know? During the development of Super Smash Bros. 4 Wii U, series director Sakurai revealed that there was going to be a third hand added to the final boss fight. For context, at the end of Classic Mode in Smash 4, you proceed to fight Master Hand and Crazy Hand. If the difficulty is high enough, you get to fight Master Giant, Master Beast, Master Edge, Master Shadow, Master Fortress, and finally Master Core. While reluctant to say what the scrap name would have been, it was revealed that the third hand would have been called Master Bait, and sported a fishing rod and hat to match. For reasons unknown, Nintendo rejected the name. Did you know? During a private interview with investors, it was revealed that Nintendo does not re-release their GameCube games because each GameCube title states only on Nintendo GameCube. To make a port would undermine their previous statement and throw the company into chaos. When later asked why Super Mario Sunshine was playable on Switch via the 3D All-Stars collection, they visibly grew irritated and promptly ended the meeting. The interviewer hasn't been seen since. Did you know? In the game, Mario teaches typing. If you type in a swear word, Mario will repeat what you said over and over until a special code is input to silence him. While many don't know why this was implemented, many have assumed it was to deter students from typing in naughty words. So having Mario say what you typed at max volume would hopefully scare them into not doing it again. Did you know? In Super Smash Bros. Melee, there is an unused voice clip of the announcer saying, After interviewing Dean Harrington, he later admitted that this was just some lighthearted banter recorded to reference the worst social media website in the world, Twitter.com. Did you know? The story of Sonic Forces is loosely based on alternate history novels based on Nazi-era Germany victory in World War II. This is further supported by the interface of the game which uses a similar style to propaganda posters from the time, and even uses the same typeface. Did you know? It's actually quite easy to mod your 3DS. All you need is an SD card, 10 minutes of spare time, and congratulations! You're now a certified gamer. 
Uh-oh. Sounds like the Nintendo Ninjas found my secret hideout again. Remember, kids, do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Did you know? Game Freak and the Pokemon Company are run by a bunch of undercover furries. When asked why Lopunny, Incineroar, and Vaporeon were all so popular, all they had to say was, Don't question it, we know who our target demographic is. Did you know, when investors asked Nintendo why they have never implemented rollback netcode into their games despite adding a price tag to their formerly free online service, a Nintendo representative stated, Online is not our strong suit. We were hoping you would have been distracted by the free NES and N64 games. Did you know, Japanese copies of Mario Kart Wii allegedly made players 10% faster than their North American counterparts? This is why many from Japan would dominate the leaderboards. Did you know, the reason why Mario wears a Tanuki suit is that in Japanese mythology, Tanukis were believed to have giant testicles. Miyamoto at the time thought Nario would have a high sexual drive, and thus a Tanuki costume would be appropriate for him to wear. Did you know, when developing Super Monkey Ball, the team decided to name the characters Ai Ai, Mimi, Baby, and Gong Gong. Series director Toshihiro Nagoshi said, These names are stupid, it's just the same syllable repeated twice. I'm going to make a better game about the Yakuza instead. Then he went on to work on Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Did you know? Deep within the files of Sonic Adventure 2 lies data for an unused robot in Eggman's E100 series. While many are familiar with E102 Gamma and E123 Omega, the last robot simply named E621 has remained a mystery for almost two decades. For more information, be sure to look up Sonic E621 and tell us what you find in the comments below. Did you know? MatPat is actually a 75-year-old warlock who occasionally drains the life force from his subscribers in order to gain enough strength to make a new Five Nights at Freddy's video. He does this through various means such as beating dead horses and inciting the rage of the public. Did you know? Back in 2006, Nintendo made a deal with the Central Intelligence Agency. You see, the CIA gives them the names and locations of people who pirate their games. And in return, Nintendo gives them a backdoor into their systems. This is Meowth here for Digital Gaming. Did you know that when you were out in the Safari Zone trying to catch Pokemon, I was out in Pewter City catching Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Bet you look stupid now. Did you know Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock has a reference right on the cover? The cover has a 3D model of famous music artist Slash referencing that music is featured within the game. It's easy to miss, but it's there, hidden in plain sight. It's crazy. Did you know? In the intro of Stardew Valley, you watch your grandpa die on a noticeably rickety bed. But this wasn't the original design. Several different scenarios were considered for grandpa's death scene such as the bed being even worse, or Kirby swallowing the bed whole. Did you know the uncanniness of the child in Medal of Honor Warfighter, released in 2012, is due to the little-known fact that the development team have never once seen a human child in their entire lives? Did you know the reason why microphones and gaming headsets are so bad was actually done on purpose? This was made so gamers couldn't hear the callous racial slurs their teammates shouted during a Call of Duty match
did you know? Contrary to popular belief, Donkey Kong is not the first black character added to Smash. That honor would go to Mr. Game and Watch. <laughs> Oh man, oh, wait, here's the other one. Did you also know? Pack in time for the Super Nintendo is just a reskin of a game called Fury of the Furries. Or that Pizza Hut is secretly connected to an underground gang? To hear the rest of the story, be sure to subscribe and check out more here at Digitay Gaming. Yeah, baby.